Hello, Spinner94 here. Glad to meet you, And, of course, as he's definitely seen by the, you know, the picture in there and the title of the video, a microtransaction rant. Um, before, you, before, obviously, we are. I am primarily a Pokemon channel, and you might think, oh, this has got nothing to do with you, etc., etc. It's just, for me, it's starting to become a very concerning issue, and I'm a bit worried about Pokemon Go becoming transaction heavy. Yeah. And we've started to notice this, obviously, in a lot of AAA games, but it's got to the point now where even I've started to notice, and I think Templey here is going to have a bit more knowledge on the subject. Indeed, and to be honest here, it is ridiculous. Mm. What's really triggered this, for us anyway, is an old favourite series of mine. Uh, well, not all, it's still quite modern. It's the Halo series. Mm. That was a chunk of my teenage and that's how I say that's how I met you, isn't it? Yeah. Halo and stuff like mm. that. Yeah. And we played a lot of 3, we played a lot of Reach. One of the best. We played a lot of... Four when it first came out, but then we I deteriorated into Pokemon, and long story from there, what we're not going to go into. Yeah. Then, basically from there, it just kind of, seeing the new fifth game, from what I've heard of it, and the new rec yeah. requisition system, I believe yeah. it's called, yeah. I looked at that, and I could I thought, I, I can't believe it, Halo was taking this direction. Yeah, this is classic company bullshit, and it's getting worse and worse, and Halo is not the worst for this. There's others that are more sinful of this act, like Dead Space 3 was one. Um, Elder Scrolls Online it does have some microtransactions, but they are mostly optional, but there are some which I will call bullshit, but we will talk about a little bit later. Mm. So the main thing what's got me talking about this video and doing this rant is the way uh, 343, I believe, who's in charge of Halo now, no, it's Microsoft now. Is it Microsoft completely? 343 well, is the one who does it. It's yeah. Microsoft who make all the business decisions, yeah. things, correct? Correct. Well, the way they advertise the company, they were on about the new transaction system, and they do, in the skit they do, it's like a very cartoony skit, yeah. it's got a play, like, and he, a mass, you know, a, a Spartan comes up, sorry, and basically yeah. says, want the Microsoft traction, transact, was it, want the requisition system, make yeah. everything unfair, and he does it in a really snarky voice like this, and yeah. then the, the sergeant is advertising, just tells him to shut up, I'm like, that is not a way to advertise. That is a legitimate concern by players. And yeah. I don't think... Um, yeah, I understand you might think it's cool just to blow it off like, you know, a proper army sergeant would. But at the end of the day, if you're going to address players' concerns like that, that just seems really bad. The pro... The pro just, just seems yeah. rude. <laughs> it is. And we're not the only ones who are talking about this. I mean, you've got Angry Joe, you've mm. got Alpha Mega Sim, Jim Sterling. Hell, even Total Biscuit has voiced this concern. Yeah. Like it's it's just uh, it's given it seems to be the only way you could get away. I mean, imagine if you went to a restaurant and you weren't happy with your meal, and you went up to say, "Oh, look, I wasn't happy with X amount of things," and they just told you to shut up and walked away. It's like you'd never go back there again, would you? No. Uh, the problem with microtransaction is, I mean, it's all started, you know, way 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 back, nearly I think like ten years ago, when we had like you know when the internet was young and DLCs were coming in, and that was that's a small microtransaction. Now, don't get me wrong. DLCs with microtransaction, that's fine because it's a part of the game story back then because it was like a proper segment to mm. the game to buff it up and give it longer lifespan. But nowadays, I mean, Halo 5 is a prime example of this. I mean, those cards, right? You've got like the Spartan like, multiplayer because that's what they're designed for. And you go through that and if you want the better equipment, better upgrades, better stuff, you got to go through these cards. Now, you can go one of two ways with this. You can either pay for your money, which I think is wrong, or you can actually battle for it. And guess how many battles it's going to take for you to get a gold gold pack to actually, you know, warrant it? A lot of hours, I'm going to assume. It's going to take you up to 11 battles. And that's assuming you actually, you know, do well. Oh, God. And this is what Angry Joe said, because he did the, did the maths. And he said, right, you need to do at least two hours of grinding play, which is arena, which is 10 minute matches. And you've got to have a you got to have a good decent amount of wins and decent run to get a decent amount of points. Mm -hmm. And I think to myself, why, why do it? That seems really grindy and usual. I mean, I've spent a lot of hours in games. I've spent eight hundred hours in Pokemon X, and I've spent nearly five hundred hours in Oras at the minute. And that's a lot of play time. And I do believe if you're playing a long time, you should obviously be able to reap the better rewards because it's rewards for playing. But the way I'm seeing the system at the minute, I'm assuming you can easily go the pay-to-win route. Yes. So uh, even though they claim, oh, it's random, it's random. Well, let's be honest, it's not. It's really if you put, let's say, it's two pound per pack. 
So say for example, you put in you like say you drop in twenty quid, right? Yeah, yeah. Which I've seen that happen, and you're bound to get what you want. You're bound to get at least half the stuff you need, and from the gold packs. I mean, there's bronze and silver. You could just easily play your ass off mm-hmm. just to get them. But for gold packs, many people tend to buy them, which I feel like that's wrong. Mm-hmm. See, one concern I heard was as well. You the pieces of armor you can't unlock for achievements and stuff like that. Can, can you remember? Was it Halo Three? There was this, like, rhin- was it like rhino-looking helmet? It looked like it had a big point sticking out of it. It was, no, it was Reach. Reach. And you got that by, like, getting all the skulls and unlocking Legendary in the campaign. And when you wore that, people were like, wow, he's a badass because he's, un- you know, beat the yeah. game on Legendary and stuff yeah. like that. Is there anything like that in the game? No. All you're going to get is probably special footages and probably, um... Just, just an achievement. That's ah, it. It just. I remember when you know you'd have the games and you'd look at player models and they'd have like unique stuff on them. They got yeah. through unlocking achievements and stuff like that. Because it, you know, that makes your player look veteranized and stuff yeah. like that. Just games don't seem to do but, that anymore. Yeah. Even Splatoon to a degree, which, I, which I love to bits. I love that game to bits. I just wish it did that. But at the end of the day, this isn't. It is Nintendo's first yeah. go to shooter, and they can't make it. You know, it's a very kid friendly game. I know they can't chuck too much in, but it's yeah. like. To me, the gaming is starting to get to the point where average games are starting to look brilliant. Well, it's you know who's the worst sinful ones for microtransactions? There are three games at the moment that are shameful for this. Tomb Raider, The Rise of Tomb Raider, which is now going to put in microtransaction, which has angered people to the hilt. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you watch Alpha Omega Sin's video about it, <coughs> he goes freaking insane about it, which is rightly so. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got, like, like the MMOs, they are notorious for it. Oh, well, MMO. Wars have always done it. And also as well, um, the free-to-play games, they are notorious for it. But the free-to-play games, I can let them slide. Because they're free-to-play and they need to make their money. Away. Yeah, so they can slide. But when you're actually paying money to play a game, then you got that as well. It's like, no, that's just greed. The worst one and the most shameful, in my view, are the FIFA games. They mm. are shameful. I mean, let's be honest, right? Let us be clear. You, if you want to play the fantasy teams, you need to buy packs. And there's only two ways of doing it. You either play a lot of the game... Which, and let's be brutal here, you're never going to get to the best packs playing it through the game. It will take you a freaking eternity. You have to put money to it. Do you know how much money people would have to put in just to get the best stuff? Ooh, making it in the hundreds. Put it this way. I've heard, I've heard of that someone put over like £300. Oh, God. Just to get a team of the year team. I think, wait, you're willing to pay... The 60 quid for the game itself, plus 300 quid just to get the Team of the Year stuff? What? That's either dedication or stupidity. It's just, and it's, and it, the whole thing he's doing it for is just to, to win games on the online, and I'm thinking to myself, so you're going to pay when, like what Call of Duty was back in the day. Yeah. But now Call of Duty has kind of tamed it a bit because they realise, yo, it is getting a bit out of hand. Well, the thing for me is, as well, is the microtransaction thing, I think we need to declare, how do we put it, like a line in the sand sort of thing, what we're willing to accept. I mean, we both used to play Magic the Gathering, and yeah. that is the definition of kind. If if you really get down to the bare bones of it, you can pay to win Magic the Gathering if you want the, the dual lands, the best cards, all the best playing yeah. walkers in a deck. But then you can pay all this money to win and still lose a game. Yeah, you convert a deck that's just common cards and stuff like that. Like I used to go, to, we used to both go to a club, yeah. and I got to a point where I was running a deck. That wasn't very common and used a th- lot of things that other people didn't use. And that's the best I've ever done. Yep. Then the next week I got trashed with it. Yep. It just shows you. I I think you can get away with it a bit more in card games. Yeah. Because it's not random packs. You can sort of get to the degree once, once yeah. you're in a community. But, as, but, but if, as long as there's a trade element. Yeah. I mean, Hearthstone is the prime example, right? You do have to pay the win to an extent. But at least with Hearthstone, if you get duplicates or like multiples of the same card... You can just destroy them and you get dust to make the cards you want. So basically, it's like saying, look, okay, there are some cards you're going to get duplicates of. You can trash them and get some like and get the dust, you know, to make a new one. No, oh, right. So at least with Hearthstone, they're, they're a little bit, you know... At least they're giving you some leeway to go, yeah. to go on. But you do have to pay the win to some extent. Or you can do what I do is grind the living hell, which it, it, it's hard work. But to be honest with you, when you're at the current state now where there's no Avengers going... There's no new packets going on, so you could just literally just take your time and get yourself sorted. Mm. So anyway, I think we're gonna call well, out like there's, there's one thing I want to call mm-hmm. out though. Games that require, you know, I'm gonna put this in because I play Elder Scrolls Online, right? And there are things called the crafting system, right? Now around the the whole Tamriel world, you're looking for like these motifs, you know, to make you know the styles of each clan. Mm-hmm. 
Now you can go one of two ways with this. You can either go every place around and look for them. You can buy them on the as a guild trader, you know, like like for your money for like going playing the game. Or you can buy them through crowds for my transaction. I feel like that's wrong. It should be on the on the grounds where you find it, you've earned it, kind of thing. Instead of oh, I don't want to go through all this bullshit looking around. I'll just buy it and I feel myself. It just kills the game. It's just like what's the point of playing the game when that game is maybe exploring, looking, having a fun, enjoying, and instead you're you're just gonna pay and just get out, just cut half the out of the game. It's just so wrong. Yeah, that does seem to ruin it. So anyway, um, we're just gonna call it there and say. Luckily, this didn't turn into like a rant. This was more of just a discussion of how we feel. Because we're just wanting to get it out there. So, as I say, we are, I am mainly a Pokemon channel, but this this does need to be said. It does need to be said, and I feel it needs to be sorted. If we do not get this sorted quickly, it's going to kill the industry. It's going to have people saying, "Right, we're not even going to bother," because a lot of companies are banking on microtransaction to make the extra money. They mm -hmm. might look at that thing, right? Oh, we didn't make any money on that game, like microtransaction wise. We're not going to make a new sequel. Mm. So anyway, we're just the little series, just both of us talking about that. Mm. So if you like the video, feel free to like, you know, share and all that kind of stuff. But if you disagree, um, just say down in the comment sections below what you feel about this. We, we would like to see what you, what you people out there think about this. I mean, I say we luckily don't have a lot of this in the Pokemon community, thank God. Yeah. But we, I, I know a lot of other people don't just play Pokemon as the primary game. Yeah. We'd like to get some people's opinions and stuff. I mean, see what you think. I mean, if you yeah. completely disagree with us, fair enough. But we'd like to know why. Is it would like if anything, we'd like to start a, a, a civil-ish discussion. I mean, we, this is the internet. We're expecting yeah. we're expecting a lot of flack for doing this, but. <laughs> It's just something that needs to be said, and with you know, with just like a discussion. So yeah. If you want some more parts of this and our feelings on certain areas, we're more than happy to do it. As I said, yeah. testing this new microphone's out a complete beauty. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, this is Spinner ninety four here. Black seventy nine. Uh, just giving a little rant video and just our opinion on a subject matter. So peace out, guys. See ya.